here with Sierra and a dog that desperately needs a home. This is Thor. And Sierra, tell us how Thor came to the clinic. What happened? So we just got Thor in and uh, somebody just left him in a cage that was outside of our clinic and just dropped him off and drove away. So we don't know much about him, but he's super sweet. He hasn't been any sort of dog aggressive thus far and he's just a people lover. He seems super docile. Like, has he been like this the whole time? Does he bark at all? He hasn't barked really <gasps> at wow. all. He's very, you know, calm Honey. in the cage. But he loves. How old is Thor? We don't know exactly, but he's probably not quite a puppy, but not, you know, an old dog either. And what kind of dog is he? He's some sort of pit mix. Do you know how long he was outside? Or were you guys here? Oh, no, we were here when he was dropped off. So literally. And he just took off. You were like, hello! Yeah, what are you? We're looking at cameras to try to, you know, catch the person who did it, but he when knocked on our door, walked down there, and drove off. Then we realized that he put a dog over there. Oh my goodness, now has this happened before? Oh yeah. People drop off dogs all the time, dogs, they just don't know. Would you consider that a crime? It is a crime, it's actually, it's illegal. So if we can get a, an identification, then they will be charged. Oh wow, well. We are going to find you a new owner who's going to love on you. So if you're interested in Thor, call the Homeless Pet Foundation. They also offer a foster program where you can foster Thor until the dog does get adopted. Or if you love Thor yourself, then you can keep it. Hey, greetings. Howdy. What happened to our baby? Is it skydiving again? I think so. She gets excited, she jumps around, and she uh, jumped off the couch, I think. Holy just... smokes. So we were back here in November, right before Thanksgiving, sent home some supplements to help her. Are they seem to be helping? I don't know what's in the joy supplements, but it gets her all excited, gets her fired up. Well, what it is, it's all natural, yeah. but it comes from England of all places. Okay. And I discovered it about 10 years ago, and as dogs age, they deteriorate just like we do. Right. Well, this company in England, uh, they do all the research, they, and they have the best glucosamine chondroitin on the market. It's called Cinequin. Yeah. But what they've done, they've done something that no other company has figured out how to do right, is they put krill oil in all of the in the supplement, so it helps the brain, it helps the, all the internal organs. It uh, speeds up the metabolism. It just keeps them healthy. But its primary purpose is to keep the joints healthy. But until now, it's been pretty good as far as moving around. She's great. I mean, so the, the problem is, like, she, she's very excited. She's, you know, and she's carrying a little bit more weight now. Like, that's, I don't have a weight. That's the biggest, a weight. Yeah, that's the biggest problem. She's been popping her shoulders out about two or three times a year. She gets really excited and runs around the house, and she'll jump off the bed. And the next thing you know, she's limping. Okay, so which leg are we limping on now? That's her right one. The shoulder right here? Yeah. Oh. Yeah, she partially dislocated that shoulder. They just land wrong, and the only thing protecting that shoulder is tendons, and there are no ligaments that hold it in there, and muscles. This is all the structure of the shoulder. Just to have that kind of mobility, that's the genius. But she must have landed wrong and partially got That's what that. she's been doing. And you said the weight, so we are watching the weight. She gets two and a half cups of dry and some cauliflower a day. That's okay, she good. needs to get a cup and a half. She needs to lose another five to seven pounds. Just and this won't happen again. Down to a cup and a half? Okay. Yeah. Well, what you want to be able to do is run your hand over here and feel the ribs. I can't feel any ribs. All I feel is fat. I want to count them. I want to count them, but not see them. Okay. If I see them, I've gone too far. Okay. You'll never go too far. I've got to keep her lean, keep her clean. So this one's fine. Yeah, she's one of your rescues. Oh, well, thank you. Well, thank you. Uh, uh, we, uh, and every time you come here, make sure forever, uh, even future dog, you tell me you adopted from us, you get this special discount right, on everything. Right. How much do you weigh now, Brady? 60 pounds. Yeah, 60 pounds. So uh, 55. let's shoot for 55. Now, when you cut back, replace that vial with cauliflower, broccoli. So she feels full. Okay. So she said she likes that second one? Yes. What else? Is that the only supplement you get? Yeah, once a day. Okay. Because Cinequin does a lot of great things. Okay. And Cinequin has to repair damage to everything. Uh, and it's gonna take some time, but it'll heal. Okay. And the way we make this so it never comes back is uh, get her down to 55 pounds. And then she can 
be like super dog and leap tall down and sing a bomb. Like we're just nervous about dogs and like you said, there's not much up here like living this like we have. So is there any concern about like anything happening to her bones or cancer or no. too young? And I've been using this cynic now for about seven or eight years. But I'm gonna have some of these dogs that have these little mini seizures and all stop with wow. the because wow. it's good for the brain. I thought she feels better. Like she gets a little hyper, she gets excited, she gets good. Good. She, that's what we want. She likes it. Magic woman with these five or six pounds up. Yes. I hear you. I'm okay, gonna, we're gonna do it. And we fix the problem. Yes. And I don't wanna overdo it. I just wanna get the weight off. But I'm glad you're on that sentiment. It's a great problem. We are. We're okay. a safety doctor. Okay, you're quite welcome.